Hey guys, welcome back to Sniper Elite 3. Alright, so we finished the unprinted mission where we defend the Torbok from the retreat before the retreat. So let's move on to the next part. We lost to Brook. But my work had drawn the attention of British naval intelligence. They've been following one of Hitler's protégés sent to Africa, a ruthless advocate of nerve agents in the last war. General Franz Wallen. Their informant, close to Wallen, has gone dark. So they want me to investigate. My first port of call is the Gabaron Oasis, an Axis transport hub. Scout teams and commanders pass through here, along with intel. I have the cover of darkness on my side. There's a few officers in the area, so that's where I'll start my search. I can see plenty of elevation around the lake. Perfect to set up my rifle. If Valen's been here, there'll be a trail. And I'll find it. Alright, so next mission there. British, British intelligence have recruited you for your skills. Investigate General Valen. Find out what he's up to. I think the majority of this game you play as a lone sniper. You, you are a sniper, but you're alone most of the time doing like single recon missions. Okay, so we're starting on the edge of the camp. I'm just going to look at quickly, place a, place a distract nearby soldiers or detonate explosives. Okay, that's flint and steel. We've got a pistol. We've just got grenades on their own. So, we haven't got a whole, whole lot of tools just yet. Just health kits, rocks, and flint and steel. We'll put, them, put the rock on the um, quick button for now. Let's take this guy out with um, melee. Still. If you search this guy, let's get our binoculars out. Let's tag these enemies. So use R2 to tag enemies. There we go, there's one. I think if you look at them, it tells you how far away they are. Yeah. So, he's like 100 meters away. 99 meters. So I've got to kill this guy. That's my objective for the moment. There's a guy in the tower. Um, is that a guy there? That's a rope. Move up a bit more so you can see more enemies. This is a good place to use my binoculars. Okay. Try and tag every enemy that's in the area for the moment so we don't like have anyone sneaking up around behind us once we go loud. What's that? That barrel looks dangerous. So we can shoot that barrel if there's any enemies near it at some point. Enemy there, sitting down. So we're going to take these sniper shots when that thing behind us is making noise to cover the sound of our gun firing so the enemies aren't alerted if, you know, as long as they don't see the enemy's body. I think that's the majority of the enemies, or if not all of them, in this area. So let's get our sniper rifle out. Get behind this cover, take the guy on the tower first because he's the least one, last one to be seen, most probably. So when that thing appears on the top, we'll take a shot. Do the focus shot. Like now. So the enemies won't have heard that gunshot because of the noise covering it. See, all the enemies are just sitting around. None the wiser. I'm gonna wait, um, just I'm going to use my binoculars to gauge how far away enemies are. So I can kind of have an idea where I'm going to be aiming before I go into focus. So that's 50. If we look on the marker, I believe that the first line, like the one that's lying with his head now, that's 100. So it's probably going to be like around there. So we'll do the focus anyway, because we've got it. I'm going to take this guy out when the noise goes. Yeah, the fo it was on target anyway, so I didn't have to do the focus. I just did it to make sure. Whoa! Crushed the skull. Okay, so we need to kill this guy in this tent as well. 
we get in a better position so we can actually see him through the doorway of the tent. I'm not sure if you can actually shoot through the tent. It would make sense that you would be able to. So I'm going to try that. Because if I miss... No, see, it's grey. It's obstructed. Which is a lot of bollocks, really, because, you know, the guy is... <laughs> it's a tent. You know, it's cloth. The bullet should be able to go through. So let's take out the guys that are on their own first. Let's get this guy next. I'm just going to shoot him without the focus, because that's not that far. Oh, the front of his skull is just destroyed with that shot. Okay, so we got this guy we can see as well. Let's take him out when... Um, let's get the binoculars out first for a second. See how far away he is. He's 70 meters, I think that's it. Yep, let's get the sniper rifle out. So it's just above that line. See? Almost in line with it. Ooh, in the neck. Okay, so we got two guys left that I've got marked. This guy over here. Hopefully he doesn't move and get obstructed. We'll take him out next. Quickly, come on, make the noise. Oh, it's too late. If he goes, goes far enough. There we go, got him. I think the noise was still going there. Right for the top of the skull. Yep. That worked. So yeah, I don't see any more enemies anywhere. Maybe on this side. Let's just have a little quick little scan. We can can we mark the we can mark trucks. So that's the weak point over the engine. There's an enemy over there actually. Actually we can leave him for the moment and we'll go and get the guy that we need. I think um I'm just gonna melee the guy. Because what's this? Enemies will find you based on the noise generated by your shots. This is represented on the re relocation bar. Relocation. Okay, first shot. The first shot will force them into cover. With further shots, they will investigate and then eventually attack your position. Okay, so with the first shot, they will just hear a shot and they won't know where it came from. And they'll be looking around to see what was that. If it was one of them or an enemy. So they, you can relocate before they close in by moving away from the destination indicated on the mini-map. Yep. So if you relocate yourself from where you shot your gun and they're alerted, you can shoot again and not be um, spotted. Okay, we're going to take this guy out with melee. I don't think he turns around, he stays looking at that notice board. And I don't think there's any more enemies in this area. I hope there isn't anyway. I like the melee kills, that was corpse. That was right in his ear. So we got the objective, the intel. So as per your orders, I have attached a map of officer assignments in Gayburn. I hope this is of use to you and General Valen. So we've got some intel on what's happening next. Okay, we've got to eliminate and search the officers for three more pieces of intel. That noise covering thing is no longer available to us because we're not standing next to it. You know, the, sh the shot that we fire now will not be hit covered by something that's on the other side of the, the base, you know? So maybe if we just... There's only one guy over there I've seen, so I'm going to get my pistol out. And we'll take that guy out or melee him if um, there's no one else around. Let's just slowly move cover to cover. Hope there's no one in these tents. I've still got that guy marked, so I know where he is. The eye icon represents your visibilities. Enemies take longer to see you when you're in the shadow. That's in the bottom left, right there. So it's squinted at the moment, so that means I'm in good cover. There's another enemy there, I'm just going to tag him. Just so I know he's there, if I don't kill him just for the moment. Could have took these guys out from the sniper part, spot, but I didn't really have an opportunity and didn't know that guy was there. There's a guy right there. Is he asleep? Oh, he's dead. What the hell? Someone's had a, disag a um, disagreement with him or something. What's this noise? Like he's making noises. Okay, so we got a guy over there. We got our, we, our shots are not masked by the sound. There's two guys there actually. Where the hell did that guy come from? You can see him. So they're both marked now. 
That guy's turned us back as well. Let's move up a bit closer. Maybe head up for some vantage points. Probably go for this guy on the 70 meters first. There we go. Here's another thing that makes noise, I think. It's an enemy right there. Let's stealth kill this guy. I don't think this thing seems to be clicking. Maybe we can make it click if we do something to it. Tamper with it, maybe. Kick or shoot small generators to generate some masking. How do you kick? Sabotage. So now we've got some... That's going to make noises now, so we're going to um, cover our gunshots. It's quite cool. Should make a noise every, like, 10 seconds, maybe. With the clicking noise. It doesn't seem to be doing it though. There we go. That's the noise we need. So maybe let's, let's stand up here, mark a few enemies, and then maybe we can take them out with the um, the masking noise. No one spotted me there, are they? There's a guy right there. A lot of stealth games have this system now, where a bar fills up slowly. Like Hitman has it. I think even Splinter Cell has it. Most games do. It's a good way of indicating if an enemy's seeing you in a video game. There's a guy there. So he's behind the wall now, I can't mark him. There he is, come back. Got his leg. There's a guy there. Is that the guy we marked earlier? Maybe when you go too far away, they no longer become marked. So I'm going to take out these guys anyway. Got plenty of shots. This guy's on his own, so it should be alright to kill him. If we get the noise soon. Which or not. Give me the noise, give me the noise, come on. Ah, oh, I shot, but, um, missed. The mark, he kind of obstructed me, so I couldn't get it. Couldn't have shot on him. His head's clear there, so I should be able to get him if um, I get the, the noise again. See, I'm obstructed there. I can't do it. Which is, oh, this guy's coming up here. Crap. Let's hope he'll get the noise before he gets me. Is he dead or behind? I think he's behind the wall, isn't he? Got him anyway, the sound was still there. Took his teeth out. We've got to kill a guy in this tent. I'll take them guys out after I've done this guy, just to get one objective out of the way for now. I'm not too sure if he's moving much. Hopefully we'll be able to see him on the corner with the camera. He's got his back to us. Let's take him out. Search his corpse. Any more intel? Yeah, I'm glad Valens Lucky is out of bothering over outposts. Every time we see him, we lose more men in the name of stupid orders from Berlin. Okay. Shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, so that guy's walking away. Maybe we can melee kill both of them. There's a guy asleep there, it looks like. Yeah, there is. Let's just shoot this guy in the head. We'll take this guy out too. I'm gonna melee him, just to um, save bullets. Because they don't have a lot of bullets on the silence pistol. I think he stands here for a good, like, 10 seconds at least. Yep, he those swimming lessons. <laughs> little joke on that little mob there, enemy. Okay, let's head move off a bit. Use bushes and hall grass to make you harder for enemies to spot you. Yep. I suppose if you're lying them. Yeah, it squints even more the eye. Okay, I'm expecting there to be some enemies around here. Because I couldn't see down this section before. From the... Um, the sniping spot I was at. 
don't know if we can actually head. Yeah, we can, there's a gap here. We can crawl through here. Squeeze through there if I crawl. Yep. If I can get prone, that is. If it lets me. Why can't I go prone? Come on. Am I too far away or something? Can I just walk through it? Come on, game. There you go. For such a fiddle a bit where you meant to crawl through, they make it quite fiddly to get into prone position. There's a guy there, let's mark him up. Can we go through water? I'm gonna assume that we can't. That's correct, we can't. There's gonna be a bunch of enemies around here, I've got a feeling. Okay, so we got him marked. Is there anyone? There's probably going to be a guy up there. There's a guy right there. See, so he's gone. We've got no sound distractions right now, so we're not going to be sniping. This guy looks to be alone, maybe. We can take him out if we step out, but I'm not sure if there's anyone else spotting us in these buildings. Maybe, should we just take him out? Let's take him out. Headshot. Better hide these bodies while he was watching. Oh, we found some extra intel. General Valen's presence unsettles me. He has the air of a man used to getting what he wants. Damn the consequences. There's no doubt he's determined to go far, but at what cost for the rest of us? Okay, so they got a bit of a crazy leader by the sounds of it, this General Vaughn. Let's fall behind here and take this guy out with stealth. With a um, uh, knife kill. I think we can get this guy behind cover. Nope, the game won't allow it. Have to shoot him in the head. Let's search his corpse while we're on top of it. We've got some dynamite there with the sound effect of a water bottle. Okay. There's an enemy over there, just mark. Any enemies I see I'm gonna mark. Just because you never know when they're gonna creep around and get, like, startle you. Let's move this body, as soon as the game told me to, because it might be a bit weird. That's what it allows me, there we go. Can we put him down the hole? That'll do. I think he's well camouflaged right there. Okay, so we've got 80 meters to go that way to kill someone. And we can't go through the water. The search tower up there. The searchlight operator needs to go. Okay, he's to disable that. That's an optional objective. Oh, there's a guy there. I didn't even see him. For these games as well, where it's called sniper, and you're expected to be sniping a lot. You don't get enough a lot of opportunities to snipe while being like effectively stealthy. Is there an enemy there as well? Where's he gone? There he is. So we can either take that guy out, or. Um, just like avoid them. I'm not going to be going out my way to get these optional obje objectives. You know, I'm going to be just focusing on the primary objective. Let's go prone for a bit. That guy's walking away from us. The extra spotlight is looking away now as well. So let's go a bit closer to the, the guy we need to kill to get some intel. I should think of using him. some traps in case of an ambush. Yeah. What traps have I got? I've got dynamite. That's it. I'm not too sure when the flint and steel works. I don't know if you have to throw it or like... You can make it... I don't know. Because it's made to spark. Fuse. Is that the guy we need to kill? Let's just mark him. Is he talking to someone specifically? Or is he just talking to himself? I'm probably going to shoot this guy in the face. Just check there's no one else near. Let's shoot him. It's good that um, helmets don't aren't, aren't that effective in this game. Because I'm shooting these guys on top of the helmets with a pistol. And they're just dropping. Oh, there's, God, there's three guys right there. Crap! <laughs> I think he's actually being alerted. We got him. There's two more guys around the corner. I don't think they're moving in though. Which is good. 
Can I search his corpse, please? Okay, the, the General Major sent me to General Valen, is doing the rounds. Waving papers about another idiotic German project. Okay, while these two guys are here, they might move away. So I'm going to pick up these bodies and put them in the lake. Shit, they've heard me. Crap, that was, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Are they, are they in, he's investigating this right there. Shoot him, come on! Is the guy not being a... The other guy, he's just, his mate's just shot next to him and he's just still coughing in the fire. So that was not actually registered as the enemy's being alerted. There's a bit of a glitch there, which is good for me. Now I'm not complaining, but it's not the way the game's meant to be meant to be played, is it? Okay, so we've got one guy left to kill. And forget trying to hide the bodies. Okay. So they are inspected now. If you can see the minimap is yellow. Tells me I'm in cover. So I just need to stay out. Because like the incident that happened was over there. So as long as I'm out of the way of that section, they will lose my trail. All clear. There we go. That, that noise scared me a second then. <laughs> There's a spot like there. Is that what spotted me, maybe? Maybe it was. Anyway, we're still going to head over to this objective. We don't need to go for that. There's probably a few more of those um, things, thingies we can get as well. The the generators that make noise to cover our sniper shots, but I'm not going to go on my way looking for them if I can still do the objective effectively by creeping over. There's an enemy over there. Let's mark him up. Trucks will damage their supply lines. That's an optional objective. Destroy five of them. Nah, you're okay. I don't really want to get a shitload of Germans on me. Got this guy right there. Didn't even see him. Hello. There's loads of them there. There's a guy there as well. I think there's a guy. One there, come on. One there. How's oh, he? He's so blind. It's like Metal Gear Solid. Okay, so we're not going that way. It looks like this guy is asleep. He may be waking up. Let's just shoot him in the head. Let's quickly check first, though, if there's anyone else there. Sitting opposite him. That is there. Okay. All clear. Okay, so he got alerted himself, but he didn't alert anyone else. I've only got three bolts left in my pistol as well. No way did he see me though, it was behind him, you know? He's, he's like half asleep. Okay, not seen any enemies in this section just yet. Let's hope he's got some pistol ammo on him that we can loot. Sten MK3. That's not a pistol. What's th is that a guy? What's that? It just looks like a guy. Shit, someone spotted me there. He is investigating, and it's the guy I need to kill, also. So if he heads over here, that's not a bad thing, because um, he's just going to head over here and maybe throw a rock in that corner. Shit, I think I led someone else there. That guy over there, that's not good. Okay, we got that guy. We need to search him now. And this guy is now heading over, which we don't want. Uh, he's going to see the bodies now as well. I'm going to have to shoot him as he comes through. Although I've only got two shots left. That's fine. Body found. Move forward please, so I can shoot you in the face. That's it. Be a good boy. Headshot. Okay. It's still all clear. He didn't actually alert anyone. So let's loot his corpse, hoping that he's got some pistol ammo. And then we'll go investigate the guy that we came to kill. Yeah, we got some pistol bolts there. So we got five shots now. Oh god, there's a guard right there. Um, how is, these guys are really blind, aren't they? The distance that they can see. I know it's night time and all, but you know, you're gonna notice there's a corpse that's like 20 meters in front of you. Um, I'm gonna kill that guy just in case he sees me whilst, well, like, when I'm crouched, um, inspecting the corpse. So let's go around the back of this and we'll shoot him in the head. There's actually guys in there, I think. On the minimap, you can see two markers of bodies. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to search the corpse and hope he doesn't see me. Hope he's as blind as he looks. So we're searching his body. Okay. 
the threat assessments on general majors half track retain valuable information. The principal dangers are from landmines and improvised explosives, as well as gunfire directed at, at com com combustible weak points. As long as, as travel is restricted to known safe routes, mines explosives should not pose a problem. Following the assessment, we have reinforced the combustible areas with armoured grills. These will prevent damage from the gun most gunfire, though a light slight risk remains in the is unlikely in the event of a sniper rifle. Okay, shit gonna hit the fan right now. <laughs> 